Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 4.3.3. Now this is an untethered jailbreak, and it works for your iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, GSM models only, iPod Touch 3rd and 4th generation, as well as the 1st generation iPad. Now this does not work with the iPad 2 as of now, and a lot of people actually ask me what the difference is between an untethered and a tethered jailbreak. Well basically tethered means that you have to plug it in, and you have to run some sort of program every time Time, you need to reboot it whether it's because it dies or because you just have to reboot it for some reason and just the other day when I showed you guys how to jailbreak iOS 4.3.3 with the older version of Red Snow that was a tethered jailbreak and every single time you had to reboot it you had to run Red Snow in the just boot tethered now mode well Red Snow has been updated today to support iOS 4.3.3 and again it is untethered for all of these supported devices so I'm just going to show you guys that I do have an iPod touch fourth generation and that it is on iOS 4.3.3 so you can tell that I am on iPod touch fourth generation because again I have the camera and FaceTime apps as well as a back facing camera and a front facing camera so I'm just going to go inside of settings and then general and then about and again I'm just going to show you guys that I am on 4.3.3 so where it says version it says 4.3.3. So now that you guys know that, I'm just going to show you how to do it. You will have to have the latest version of Red Snow as well as iOS 4.3.3 for your device downloaded and I recommend putting them in a place where you can easily find them such as your desktop where mine are located and I will have a link down below in the more info that will have the downloads as well as written instructions in case you get confused and you need something to refer to. So first of all, we're just going to plug in our device Device. and again in this case I'm using an iPod touch fourth generation and then it simply open up red snow once red snow is opened up you're just going to have to browse for your firmware and again I have mine placed on my desktop and it is iOS 4.3.3 so I'm just going to zoom in and show you guys that it does say iPod touch 4 comma 1 underscore 4.3.3 and now I'm just going to select that 4.3.3 firmware and once it has finished processing it then we can go ahead and click next and it will prepare the jailbreak data alright so now once it has finished that what we are really interested in is install Cydia now you can check some other options if you need to or if you want to like for instance because I have an iPod touch I want enable battery percentage checked off and you can also have allow boot animation checked off and then it just comes up with a prompt telling you how to actually access these custom boot animations and you can also have enable multitasking gestures on if you want as well but do not check install custom custom bundle, just boot tethered right now, or just enter pwned DFU mode right now. If you check off any of those unwanted options, then it will get rid of install Cydia. And again, you really do want install Cydia, so that way you can actually jailbreak it. Once you have all of those checked off, you can click next. And now it's just telling you that it wants you to have your device plugged in as well as turned off. Because after this, you will have to enter DFU mode once you hit the next arrow, and it will walk you through the instructions. However, I recommend entering DFU mode ahead of time, and it's very simple. All you have to do is have it plugged in. You don't even have to have it turned off. Just hold down both the home and power button for a total of 10 seconds. Now, once this 10 seconds is up, let go of the power button and continue holding the home button. Now, you're going to want to hold the home button for roughly 15 seconds. Once that 15 seconds is up, you can let go. And if you're wondering why your screen is black, that's fine. You are actually in DFU mode. You don't get anything on the screen again it is just a black screen once you have entered DFU mode all you have to do is hit next and then it starts to go through the steps however it instantly bypasses them because it automatically detects that you are already in DFU mode all right, so now my iPod Touch is finished downloading the jailbreak data, and it is running through the Lime Rain exploit right now. All right, so now that it's finished that, it is actually jailbreaking your device now, and you will know it's jailbreaking your device because you will see a pineapple logo running. If you don't get that, simply unplug your device, plug it back in, and re-enter DFU mode. Now, if you are on Windows, and you are on either Windows Vista or Windows 7, I highly recommend that you right-click on Red Snow, 
and then you check off Run in Compatibility Mode 4, Windows XP Service Pack 2, and then after that you run it as administrator. If you do not do that, then the chances of it working are very slim. So I will be back once this has finished. Alright, so now that it's finished, it is just rebooting, and I'll be back once my iPod has booted successfully. Alright, so here we go. Now, as you can see, I do have Cydia, and this time it is not a white icon, and again, this is because it is an untethered jailbreak, so I can simply load up Cydia, and I'm just going to go ahead and connect to my Wi-Fi network really quick, and I will come back once Cydia has finished preparing the file system. Alright, so now that it's done, it will respring your device, and then when you open up Cydia again, it will ask the question, who are you? Typically all you're going to select is user. Now once you've done that, it will just go through the normal process that Cydia always does by downloading packages and refreshing its database. And I'm going to scroll down and inside of Cydia, I'm going to show you that it does say iPod Touch 4G iOS 4.3.3 Cydia 1.1.1 and really quick, I'm just going to unplug my iPod Touch and I'm going to power it off and turn it back on in order to show you guys that again this is an untethered jailbreak. So now I'm just going to turn it on and it is not plugged in at all because as you can see nothing is plugged into the bottom there. So while it's rebooting I just wanted to let you guys know that you can follow my Twitter. I will have a link down below in the more info and I do keep all of my followers updated there with different news regarding the jailbreak status and also to just different things relating to jailbreaking. So again as you can see it successfully booted with without even being plugged into the computer, and Cydia does work. So I hope you guys like this video. If it helped you out at all, be sure to rate it up. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section, and hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. So I really do hope you guys like this video, and until next time, this is ICU, signing out.